Hello and welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain. And in this video, we're gonna be doing the most intimidating thing you will ever do in your computer life. Not really, you're installing memory, okay? This used to be a scary thing. You know, back when memory was like $1,000 or $10,000 and you got like 10K of it. <laughs> Only my fellow nerds will understand that. But anyways, I'm gonna be doing it the overly proper way. This is my static wrist strap. I've gotten yelled at for not wearing this on previous videos. So here it is, I've got it. You wanna make sure it's getting grounded. Let's trace all it, look to this. And this is actually grounded to our transformer ground outside. So I am officially grounded. But for those of you who are actually gonna be doing this, you don't need anything this dramatic at your local hardware store. My cameraman was making fun of me for this. You can actually just get a wrist strap like a buck, $2. So here we have your memory. And these come in dual channels, usually. You can get two sticks for the price of, I don't know, these were like 50 bucks for eight gigs of memory. For your Windows XP machines, you want at least two gigs. For your Windows Vista machines, you want, it's Vista and seven, you wanna have at least three gigs. And for Windows 8, you wanna have at least four. But that's, memory's getting so cheap, it's only getting, it's only getting cheaper. So memory really only goes in the slot one way. If you look at this, can you see that up close? You'll notice that the top side is smaller than the bottom side. So really the memory is only gonna fit in the slot on your motherboard one way. And if you follow along with these videos over the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be doing a lot of videos like this. But uh, I'll go ahead and pick up my motherboard here and you see that the, the actual memory slots are color coded. So since these actually came as a dual channel kit, so they're two memory sticks of the exact same size and speed, they're designed to fit into the color coded slots on here. If you're gonna actually install your memory, typical the best practice is to install it on the slots closest to the actual processor that allows for faster bandwidth transfers. And then you, what you wanna do is make sure you're following the color code scheme. I know they're not right next to each other, but these are meant to actually work in parallel. So take the memory, open up your little slots here. And smaller end on top, if you can look it on there right on the board, bigger end on the bottom, Just slide it right on there, push it down and it should clip right on. So there's one of them. We'll do the next one, hopefully without breaking it. <laughs> you might have to apply quite a bit of pressure here. Usually you're safe to do that. Um, no, no, I'm putting it in there, right? Usually you're safe to apply quite a bit of pressure on this. Just make sure you're not, if you start to hear cracking, that's when you wanna get nervous. So that's it. I've successfully installed my memory on this motherboard and that's all there is to this video. Installing memory is not that hard. It only really goes in one place on your motherboard. It's not like you can open it up and start sticking it in random slots. It just won't fit. So stay tuned. I got plenty more computer building videos to come. We're going to be doing the processor. We're going to be doing the graphics card. We're going to be doing the power supply. There's all kinds of different things that come into play with building a computer. And it's very easy to do if you just pay attention to what you're doing. So stay tuned. And as always, if you like this video, make sure you thumb up. Thumb it if you like it. Do they do th likes? That's it. Like they stopped doing the ratings. Thumb it up if you liked it. Follow me on Facebook or follow me on Twitter. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I always appreciate your comments. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video.